Hello, I'm Days J2, and welcome back. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna. Play, I always say continue, but I don't really mean it. <laughs> we're gonna play a game called The Guest, a first-person exploration game. Now, um, this game, of course, you can, as you can see, is developed by Team Gotham or published by Team Gotham. I can't remember which, but um, it is a horror game, um, I believe. Um, and it looks kind of interesting that I kind of wanted to buy a couple games to see what what they were um, to sort of prepare myself for these <laughs> um, recordings as well. But this is one of the games I bought. Um, this may look interesting. I figured I'd try it and see how it goes. So let's start a new game and see what it's like. We we are preparing the room. Please wait. Up. Oh. Team Gotham game. Is Batman in here? October 25th, 1986. My sisters were, uh, like two months, two, two, yeah, two months old at that time. Oakwood Hotel, okay. And it was still two, two years before I was born. Belmont, Massachusetts, United States. 4.23 a.m. I gotta say, so far, this lo it looks impressive for an indie game. And of course, I, and I don't mean to say that as a bad thing, or, you know, like indie games that are, look crappy. They they don't. There's a, quite an amazing amount of indie games that are, that are astonishing looking. And this is certainly one of them. Um, oh. well, hold on a minute. Let me get to the door. Huh? Where is the doorknob? It, oh, yeah, it's not there. Um, okay, well, let's turn on the lights here. All right, well, uh, where is, where is the doorknob? Uh, oh, there's, oh, a text overlay. Dear Dr. Leonov, we are extremely grateful that you accepted our invitation to the University of Boston's ninth annual international the scientific Congress. It is an honor for us that you have gr agreed to come from so far away and to be the main speaker at our Congress. At the Congress, my colleagues and I are eager to hear your knowledge. We have enclosed your business class flight information and tickets. Your arrival at Boston Airport on the 23rd at 11:30 a.m. shall allow you plenty of time to rest and prepare for your speech on the 25th. We hope that you have a comfortable trip. P.S. I, we would like to suck your. We would like you to know that two men will be waiting at the Boston airport when you arrive. Show them this letter, and they will take you to the hotel. Once there, you will be able to rest. The old, the old. Uh, you can wait. The old Oakwood Hotel is situated in the suburbs of the city of Belmont. This hotel has been helping to us to organize events for a long time. I am sure that you will be pleased with your service. Their service. No words can express our, express our gratitude. Whatever that word is. <laughs> okay. Um, so that guy is probably still trying to get us, get a hold of us, and you know, knocking on the door or such. But I, I can't seem to find the doorknob. Can anybody point me towards the doorknob? Is there a doorknob in this place that's hiding in plain sight that I cannot see for shit? Is that a flashlight? That's what is that? It has what is sixteen? Six, oh, it's scissors. Yeah, let's keep it. This is suddenly turning into a point-and-click adventure. If Guiney Leonov, and I'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong. From Vogue to Boss, flight SO two o one a. Okay, we don't really need to know more than that. Uh, lamp. 423. It's been on 423 for quite a long time now. Uh, let's see here. Book, 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 book. Not lucky. Cigarettes? Probably. 
Yep, cigarettes. But let's keep it, just in case, because there might be something to the cigarettes that I do not know anything about. Um... Fluxetine. Take one in the mouth for every 24 hours. And... It expires, well, next month. So he's, well, no, next year, sorry. So he's still good on time. Oh, whoops, I'm supposed to take that. No, nope. oh, hold on, hold on. I got it. No, I can't. I don't need it right now. Well, all right. Hmm. Bye. Bye. Bible. 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 I might need the Bible to <laughs> to fend off the scary ghosts and whatnot I fi find in this place. Kind of really hate being stuck in one room. I have to say. Uh, bowls. No. Oh, a lamp. There's no light bulb. What the f Wait, I want to I want to see my inventory. A valve, cigarette and Oh, it's a valve? For what? For what possible reason would I need a valve? Uh is that the doorknob? Hey, it's the doorknob, I think. Um, let's see. Um science and let's keep it. Anything we find, let's keep it. Because it might be useful later. Um, let's see, a notepad. Toolbox! Ripped the. Uh, seems like it's torn, but it is missing a piece. I didn't realize there were words down there! Was that always a thing? And I can't really do anything with this phone because I don't have any phone numbers saved on file. Wait, I can dial my phone. Let me dial my cell phone. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, I better not. It's somewhere in here. I gotta, you know, speed dial. Uh, I, no? No? Hmm, busy. I don't even know what number I put in. Uh, okay. Um, let's see, deliver to... Oh, there's a light bulb. I'll keep it. And the ESP... The 15th ESPA Congress will be at Belgrade. Uh, the 15th European Soci Sociological and Psychological Associ Association Congress will take place next month in Belgrade, Serbia. French psychologist Irene Sedou will present her new book, Mankind Analysis. Okay, well, that was pretty interesting to look at. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, if an anomaly with the power sockets occurs, a power supply inspection must be carried out immediately. Keep in mind the following scheme. Uh, there's no way I'm going to remember that, so I'm going to keep it. Mm, nope, that's, that's nothing. What's in here? Is that a toolbox? That, of course, has a freaking uh, thing. I don't really need it to, to be lit. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? Since I have the light bulb, I'm going to put it in here. Right? I get it. Let's put the light bulb in it. Use. Here it is. The lamp should work now. Yay! Okay, so let's do that for the door, uh, since we have the doorknob. Um, there we go. Use. Now the door. Doorknob is still loose. I need something to screw this to the door. Uh, well, you could have told me that. You really could have told me that. Instead of wasting my time. Ooh, there's stuff in here. Um... Seems like another piece of page, paper, paper, page. Uh, a battery. Okay, so far, it is still 4 to 23 for some odd reason on that clock. That clock is broken. We're going to ask, as soon as I get room service, I'm going to ask them to refix that clock because there's nothing, there, there, there's something wrong with it and we're hopefully not stuck in through space and time trying to figure out shit. a cigarette box magazine piece of paper 
piece of paper. Can I combine these? Hey, there we go. There we go. No pad. Take a look at it. 503. I bet you I know what that's for. 503. Yay! Toolbox is open. Let's see what's inside. A screwdriver. I'll keep that. And I guess I can't do that. Okay, so let's go back to the door. I realize that. Thank you. I'm going to use the screwdriver. Use it. Here it is. Now I should be able to open it. Yay, we can go out of the... F Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that... What is that? Is that the... Oh, God. What the hell? Uh, it's the sink. And that looks like the ring of uh, the... Uh, whatever. The go oh! <laughs> okay, what's going on here? He's hyperventilating for some odd reason. He's gonna... He's, he's gonna vomit. No? He's hyperventilating for sure. Oh. Whoa. Uh... Huh, I can't stand this. I need my pills. Well, I I realize. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you know what? It might be a good idea to get those pills. Oh, yeah, it's in the room. Duh. Uh, what? Oh. I can't open it. I'm stuck in here. Well, great. I can't switch that off. So let's open the door here. Or can I? Ooh, I'm sinking. I'm sinking fast, aren't I? Uh, uh. Pills! Consume! <laughs> okay. Any key or something. So. Something's obviously going on wrench um like perhaps this person is suffering through uh, some sort of anxiety with rooms soap club soap club hmm. i'll take it what's that body gel let's keep it shampoo let's keep it because from of course, everybody knows that you have to you have to steal a, 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 um, a, a, you know the the shampoo and stuff whenever you go to some place like a hotel. I sell purple alcohol. D why not? Because you know who knows if we'll hurt ourselves later or need possibly to get drunk. Uh, Band aids. More band-aids! I'll keep the band-aids. And pills? I can't keep the pills. I just need one. Fine. If you want to be like that, fine. Just, just remember the next time you have a heart attack or whatever the hell you were experiencing, that you had the opportunity. You had the opportunity to keep the pills on you, but you didn't. And you, when you die next time, I'm broken. Okay. And when you die next time, from you know, I, I need my pills. You had the opportunity to grab a crap load of them before you, before you left. <laughs> Let's read this. Surprise at the ESPA Congress. <clears throat> Psychologist and sociologist Irene Sedu was unexpectedly absent for the presentation of her new book, Mankind Analysis. As many distinguished figures from the field were in attendance, this came as quite a surprise to all. The whole Congress remained eagerly awaiting any news about their illustrious French colleague. Unfortunately, details have yet to emerge about what may have caused Miss Sedu's absence. I am hoping I'm pronouncing that right. If I am not, I am sorry. Uh, something with that. What am I doing? 
What is this? What do I have to do? What is this? What am I doing here? What do I have to do? Okay, somebody better explain what the hell that's about. Because I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And what in the world... Is that the tub or is the sink? I'm stuck in here. Great! Just... Just fantastic. That's all I need is to be stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a long crap and, you know, let out my sexual energy in here. <laughs> I'm gonna M M M B. I'm gonna M wait, no. That's yeah, M B. <laughs> you know, the word masturbate for short. <laughs> You know, the short and short. Uh, I, uh, you know what? I've already explained enough to you guys. I don't need to go further into it. You know, I hope you guys aren't going to be mad because I said masturbate out loud. Oh, jeez. Okay, what am I supposed to do in this room? Mm, well, let's look in my inventory because I haven't really used that uh, straight razor. I don't. I don't what am I supposed to do about that? Let's reset everything, first of all. Uh huh. I'm, I'm I don't know what I'm doing. Where was is there something in my inventory that'll tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? Like this what is supposedly a valve, what looks more like a spark plug. <gasps> Maybe the Bible will tell me something. Oh dear God, tell me what I have to do. I'll put my palm on you, I'm gonna put my hand on you, I'm gonna put, put, put my hand on the Holy Bible and pray like to the Holy God of the Gospel Lord and thank you, Amen. And you know, use it. No? Fine. I don't get it! <laughs> if an anomaly with the power sockets occur, a power supply inspection must be carried out immediately. Keep in mind the following scheme. SL... S dot L... S dot one dot one S dot one dot two I start S.2.1, S.2.2, S.3.1, S.3. So, what does this all mean? It apparently means that it totally equals out to 100 volts. And apparently, there's no backside. So. Yes? I'm not sure what you want. I'm still not totally sure what you want. And the radio doesn't help me. In fact, nothing that I picked up out of this room did not help me. At all. One bit. I can cut the shit out of the one place. You know what? Maybe I should do that. Is cut the living shit out of this one place. And I'm gonna use this for the... No? Okay, well, how about the pliers? No? All right, well, you know, maybe I need to soap it up. Uh, you, you know what? I'm going to put soap to good use is, you know, I'm going to, you know, take a bath. I'm going to think about my problems and, you know, make sure that, it, you know, I develop my, that I think about my, you know, problems clearly. And then, you know, use some body shell. I'm going to do this backwards the way I do it. Is first, I'm going to shower up my body. And then I'm going to use a shampoo and shower up my hair. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to get down to the shower and really take a deep thought. You know, I'm going to sit on this toilet and I'm going to really think, how am I going throughout my life? And what is the next step and of my life? And try to figure out what this puzzle is all about. And that will be it for my night and my life. Because this game will surely have killed me out of its sheer puzzle and confusement. 
But that's uh, for another time, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the guest, um, which is, you know, a pretty good, uh, cool, interesting game so far. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to save my game. Thank you. Um, and it's an interesting start and an interesting game so far. Um, it has a good puzzling section, which I'm going to get more into and see what I really need to do about this area. But I hope you've enjoyed, and I will hope to see you in the next video. You guys have a great night and a great day, and I'm going to keep pointing at you like I'm pointed at nothingness. I'm going to keep pointing at you, you camera, because you make me look bad. I make myself look bad. You, James, you, James, the one's going to be editing this later is you suck. You suck. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night for the rest of you. Bye-bye.